Yeah, man, I say all praises and honor to you, how? But I show me how shy, but I show me how I dash. And Dublin as the apostles and elders of Graham and Stone, shalom to all our brothers and mother, they push it truth. In our sincerity and in our honesty, this is a brother from James, Jamaica Camp. Um, Yasha, my, I'm going to do my lesson, you know, and um, the second coming, or you how shy, you man, who people ignorantly call Jesus. You know, true name in the Hebrew is how shy, you know, we live not a time right now. You know, based off of the prophecies and all the signs that was taking place now, you know, we live in another time, right? Our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, don't look like a so called white man, right? That vibration been pushing the earth heavily from the time of the barge your family, you know, come to this time, right? And people say, it's high time to awake out of sleep, you know, time for people wake up out of this confusion, this madness we've been taught to our four parents from the time of slavery. Because no is our deliverance, yo. We live in a time right now. As a revelation 1 of verse 13, so in the midst of seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, talking about Yahweh Shai, you know, the man of people ignorant, they call Jesus, clothed with a garment down to the foot, right? So you have a garment down to your foot, and if I have no tight pants, you know, like you know, Jacob mentioned in this video. And girt about the pups with a golden girdle. His head and his ears talking about the texture of Yahweh Shai um, here. We have upon him head and upon him beard. We're white like wool, as white as snow. So you have white wool here. Who have white wool here? Negroes. Right? His eyes were as a flame of fire. You according to the prophecy, Genesis 49 and 12, his eyes shall be red with wine. Right? And going back, back then, you know, you yeah, call him a wine bibber. His feet like unto fine brass. You know, brass are basically so my brown, right? As if they burn in a furnace. So you have dark brown skin. So yeah, Jenna basically I describe how you how shall I look. And his voice as the sound of many waters. Jesus. You know, Jake does, you know, you know life is you know, a joke, you know, you know comedian, you know, so called Jamaicans, you know, yeah. which are mainly from a child of Benjamin, right? And hey, all lad and save your house shy, you know, now I come back home, come party. He might come back in a tight pants, you know, as so long as I have a venue or drink, drink with no more bite. You know, I know he don't mind. This is how the scriptures say I go happen, right? And this is Isaiah 42 and verse, verse, verse 13. And I said, The Lord shall go forth as a mighty man. Talking about your house, right? He shall stir up jealousy like a man of war. Say, so come, come make war with the so called white man. You. I can remove the so called white man from out of power. I can come back home in a venue, a drink, and a party. You know? Like when you know, Jake <laughs> mentioned this video. Right? It's how the scriptures say going to happen. He shall cry, yea, roar. He shall prevail against his enemies. I have a long time holding my peace. Right? I have been still and refrained. Myself, no will I cry like a travailing woman. I will destroy and devour at once. I will make waste mountains and hills and dry up all the herbs. And I will make the rivers islands. And I will and I will dry up the pools. So how shall I you know come back you know, in the midst of World War Three? Right? Destruction upon destruction. The war will take place. You now I come back on party. You know, and have on phone like we, um, Jacob mentioned in this video, right? This is uh, Isaiah 66 and verse 15, and it says, For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots, so-called white man call or UFOs, like a whirlwind, 
to render his anger with fury and his and his rebuke with flames of fire for by fire and by his sword will the lord plead with all flesh and the slain of the lord shall be many so a lot of people are going to get put to death you know we know lord and savior how shall i make him sick and return all right it's a jeremiah 25 and verse 33 and he said and the, and the slain of the lord shall be at that day from one end of the earth even unto the other end of the earth they shall not be lamented neither gather nor buried they shall be dung upon the earth so contrary to this joke you know believe in this video say you know no, uh, joke a little gimmicks type of type of thing you know joke on them, them gimmicks and anything you know contrary to him believe you not this video hey, Jesus. <laughs> So, so yeah, how we shine now? Come back, come party, have fun, you know, this with, with um these um Moabites are are Edomites, right? I come back, you know, come basically destroy and also deliver the helic from the four wings of the earth. Right? This uh Isaiah 63 and verse 1 say who is this that cometh from Edom with dyed garments from Bozrah? And the mother of the Bozrah is America today. This that is glorious in his apparel, traveling in the greatness of his strength. High that speak in righteousness, mighty to save. Wherefore art thou red in thine apparel, and thy garments like him that chatted in the wine fat? You know, but then in the ancient time, I usually have people, you know. No, on, on, on jump or on basket, you know, stepping up and they grip them, you know, so them they scale do it back then in the ancient time, right? Verse 3 says, I have chadden the wine press alone, and of the people there was none with me, for I will chad them in my anger and trample them in my fury, and, and their blood shall be be sprinkled upon my garments right so basically you know exp explain a metaphor for basically explain how much people um, get put to death right because a lot of people are going to get destroyed as we read the scripture a little while i'm um, in a jeremiah um, jeremiah 25 and 33 so the slain of the lord are going to be in that day from one end of the earth even to the other end so a lot of people are going to get put to death right so it's a peace their blood shall be sprinkled upon my garments, and I will stain all my raiments. For the day of vengeance is in mine heart, and the ear of and the ear of my redeem is come. All right, so how shall I come back with great wrath, great anger? So that I say all praises and honor to Yahweh, Ba Hashem Yahushai, Ba Hashem Akakodash, and double honor to the apostles and elders of great millstone. And shalom to all my brothers and my out there pushes truth in our sincerity and in our honesty. Shalom.